no, 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 no. Look, Batwoman, Doctor Who, World of Warcraft, it's not my birthday until Saturday, okay? Stop giving me all of these presents early. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's fine, because YouTube just demonetizes it all anyway. Oh boy, uh, today, patch 8.3 raid unlocked in the United States of America Shire, and uh, it's been completed, so the final cutscene for patch 8.3 has been now officially seen. <laughs> and uh, fans are, let's just say, underwhelming doesn't quite cover what people <laughs> are going on about here. So, if you don't want to know what happens because it doesn't release in Europe till tomorrow, or you just don't want to know anyway, don't watch this video. There will be spoilers. Hit the like button on the way out, though, or something like that. That'd be cool. Uh, but otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So some of you may have seen, uh, once you defeat uh, Nazoth, that uh, you all get mind controlled. Your raid gets mind controlled, and there's an there's an in game cutscene of of your raid walking uh, mindlessly towards Nazoth, and then because um, the only thing that uh, uncreated people can do nowadays is laser beams. Oh my God! It's gonna be like a laser beams, and the laser beams is gonna go into like the creature, and the creature's gonna go. Oh my God! The laser beams and the laser beams are gonna blow him up. Magni and Mother fire a, a laser beam, and it and it the laser beams go into you, ladies, and then it comes out, ladies, of your heart of darkness. And uh, yeah, I know it's the heart of Azeroth, whatever. And it just goes into Nazoth, as we can see, and Enzoth starts to do this, and. It is literally, after he explodes, a like-for-like -like ending <laughs> of Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And uh, the tower just, you know, the eye goes and then the tower collapses. And holy sh- And look at- look, look. <laughs> I mean, it's barren enough as it is. And then the eye explodes, and then the building just glows and vanishes, and that is literally it. A All of it takes 22 seconds. It's 27 second video on Warcraft channel, but it takes 22 seconds. That is Nazoth, the big bad old god that has been built up for a decade or more <laughs> as the biggest and baddest of all the old gods goes out like a little bitch. And in the interview that Ian Hazacostas did recently, he did stress that, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> this is it for the old gods, you know? Bye! <laughs> oh no so we're gonna do something cool let's just refresh this because i want the latest i want the latest going on folks and let's see the ratio the ratio is ow currently just under 600 likes 1.5k dislikes now, if we go to the comments section... Oh, yeah, I just posted that. <laughs> I, did a I did a quick little post myself. Oh, crap, I'm late. The comments have already started. Uh, the word underwhelming doesn't even come close to describing this. It feels like a huge chunk missing on top of that. Blizzard must have spent the rest of the budget on the Sarfang cinematic. Sauron. Well, this looks vaguely familiar. Seems done 10 plus years planning and he gets sniffed out this fast waste. Yeah, Ian has a cost us. He ain't come back. Beyond disappointing. So freaking underwhelming. 10 years, Nazoth, the freaking badass old god, and this is how he died. 
I'm surprised Arya Stark didn't jump out of nowhere, stabbing Nazoth in the back. Because this was just as underwhelming. And probably would have made just as much sense. Where are the eagles? They're going to carry us. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Why has this got so many dislikes? Ten seconds later, I get it. Okay. So, people are, are not happy with this ending. Look. I'm so glad I got off this train. <laughs> I'm not trying to be the bad guy. But sometimes you just gotta be. You got what you deserve with this expansion, folks. The writing was on the wall from the start. If you truly felt they would turn something around, then you have to be deluded by now. There was zilch effort put into the point o patch. Zilch. No feedback was taken to, into consideration from the alpha onwards. They didn't care what people had to say. They just stuck with what they had. Most of the features were just copy-pasted from Legion. Warfronts weren't properly thought out. Island expeditions weren't properly thought out. Things which could have been really cool. This is the frustrating element. Could have been really cool. The Warfront would have probably served much better as a, a battleground anyway. But that's by the by. So 8.1 comes along. Dross. Dross. Invasions are coming. Just like Legion Invasions. Another copy-paste feature. Once again, showing that there's either a distinct lack of imagination within the creative departments by the people who make the decisions about the content, or, and this might come as a shocker to you folks, they just don't care. They are literally letting this game run as cheaply as possible while maximizing profits. That would be an awful shocker for that to be Blizzard's stance at Division Blizzard stance, <clears throat> the people who announced uh, record profits and turnover and then sacked 900 odd people at the start of last year. Those are the people we're dealing with now. That's the company we're dealing with now, folks. 8.2. I've heard mixed reactions about 8.2. People seem to be happy with the, the Mecca place. I didn't personally see what was too much up about that. I mean, I did play a bit of it. I was just like, eh? Eh? I didn't feel as if it had this the, any sort of flow like the Timeless Isle did or anything like that whatsoever. I just felt like I was running around killing rares and that was it. And then the um, Ashara business, which again, Ashara, what a wasted character. A character that probably deserved her own expansion. Massive lore character. So much she could have done Nah, in, out, cough, love. Come on. And then 8.3, and I've heard, I'm not hearing good things about 8.3. I'm hearing that uh, the visions are good, but other than that, it's a grind to get into them. There's multiple problems. Mac users can't even log on, I'm hearing as well. Um, stability, crashes, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's just uh, no real replayability. So, it's going to get old very quickly. Hence, why Blizzard put, buy six months of time, please. Because remember, Blizzard don't give a shit. If you play those six months or if you play a day, they've got your money, people. And when somebody does that, straight after a patch, it's a big red light. Can we take your money for the next six months, please? Here's the new patch. Hope you enjoy. It's a massive red flag that they're worried about retention because they're probably clearly aware that, as I said in a previous video, they just make content literally patch for patch. There's no thought put into it about the longevity of it or whether or not it has replayability for years to come. It's just get this patch out next. Get this patch out next. Not setting up any features or anything for long-term development. So I'm not trying to be the bad guy, but this is what you get when you're dealing with a Blizzard Entertainment now. Now, people are going to go into the raid and they're going to join the raid because 
Raids are one of the things which people enjoy the most. And I can't blame them because it sounds by the looks of it that there's pretty much not else, not much else to, to get invested in. Uh, surely not. So one of the most disappointing, probably the most disappointing expansion since uh, Warlords of Draenor for sure. Is it as bad as Warlords of Draenor? There's more to, there was, you can't deny there's much more to do than Warlords of Draenor. But is the quality of that content any good? Well, I left. <laughs> I've been gone a year. I, I haven't played it for a year. I only came back for Classic. And then when I was subscribed to Classic, I, I don't even know if I jumped on. Yeah, I must have jumped, I must have jumped on to the 8.2 to check out the, um, the Mecha stuff and that. Yeah. But I, that was, yeah, uh, uh, there you go. So, uh, yeah, uh, onwards and upwards to uh, Shadowbringers 2.0. Um, stop copying Square's homework. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the vid and all that kind of stuff. I know it's a late one, but I'll be back with some more stuff tomorrow. You take care. Bye for now.